So the next debater from Team Fight. Please welcome Gina Brion. There's nothing written on this pad. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so a few things, a few things. Let's start. Let's start with my credentials. First of all, why I'm on Team Fight. Uh, I am Latina from the Bronx, so ding ding. Uh, <laughs> I wake up ready to fight, you guys. So when they told me I was on Team Fight, I was like, oh, thank God, because I would have been totally lying if I was on Team Fight. I'd have been like, yeah, peace is the answer. Not really. Uh, <laughs> Boom, boom, don't let, don't let me worry you, but I will fight Lola for you. This is why you need fighters. Now we will punch her in the face just for you. And by the way, let's like differentiate between bullying and fighting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Lola was a bully and therefore you need a fighter to, to check the bully, yeah. right? Yeah. That's why you need a fighter. So we'll start with the fact that fighting and bullying, two different things, fighters are bully avengers. <laughs> Bullies are not fighters. No. Bullies are cowards yeah. that want to pick on people and get away with it. So here comes your bully, says something mean. And here comes an angry Puerto Rican girl <laughs> and destroys his face for you. <laughs> I would like to follow this up with uh, the importance of being punched in the face. <laughs> now, I have been punched in the face thrice in my life. <laughs> and I would like to go over those stories with you and let you know the lessons that I learned <laughs> from being punched in the face and why I am grateful for those lessons. <laughs> the first time was in uh, my intermediate school in the South Bronx. Someone had been picking on my sister, a bully. And they went and got me. They ran to my classroom and said, you're not gonna believe it, but there's this kid that's trying to pick on your sister. And I went, take me to them. <laughs> and they brought me to this room and I see this guy towering over my sister and he's yelling at her and he pushes her. And that was all the go I needed. I jumped on him faster than a housewife on an ex-husband. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I was quick, and I was punching him, and I was like, get off my sister! And it felt good. And what I learned in that moment is that I was a lot braver than I thought I was. Because I was a shy kid. I was a quiet kid. But the second somebody was in trouble, I was like, I'm not gonna leave. I don't wanna see that person get hurt. I'm gonna defend that person. And that person was my sister, so it made it easier. I also learned that day that braces can cut your lips if you're punched in the face and you wear braces. So I learned the importance of a mouth guard for later on in life. If you're gonna fight, always have a spare mouth guard with you. At any given moment, you might need it. That was the first time I was punched in the face. The second time, I was in a boxing class. And I was sparring with someone and his arms were longer than mine. And he hit me in the face. And my trainer came over and he was all worried and he went, oh, what, what are you doing? She's a girl. And as feminist as I am, I was like, yeah, I'm a girl, man, what are you doing? <laughs> but that day I learned the important lesson of sizing up your opponent. His arms were longer, but I was shorter and faster. So I was like, oh, all I gotta do is duck long arms. Check. <laughs> Lesson learned. And the final one, I was on the streets of New York and I was mugged. This guy reached into my purse and he grabbed my, my bag out of my purse, my little makeup bag, and I was like, no, my makeup. I'm like, you know, <laughs> this from Sephora, I was following the gift card, but whatever. <laughs> Mine. And he took my makeup case and I turned around and he said, like he said, he grabbed my purse and he said, I'm gonna hit you. And I said, if you hit me, you better knock me the fuck out. <laughs> Which was not the smartest thing to say. <laughs> because it turns out that was his plan. <laughs> so he punched me, right? But I've been punched twice before, so I knew what was coming. <laughs> 
and I took it like a champ, and he got scared because I bounced up like one of those balloon clowns that was like, ha! You better try again, man. Yeah, and then we tussled and we tussled and he made off with like $10 and a Metro card. But I was so proud of myself in that moment because I learned the important lesson of not backing down when you know you're in the right. I knew I was right. You don't get to just go in my purse. And yeah, I got punched in the face, but I took it like a trooper and I gave him blows back. And this is why it's important to understand the importance of having that flight, that fight instinct. Oh shit, I almost fucked up. <laughs> that was Sigmund Freud, like I was a Freudian slip right there, going, no, Gina, run, this is your inner child. I'm tired of getting punched. <laughs> Please stop this violence all together. <laughs> I'll talk about it in therapy, fine. <laughs> And in conclusion of what I'd like to say to this world that is now all of a sudden traumatized by violence, which is something I've been hearing so much about lately, since the whole Oscars thing, we're, just, we're traumatized by violence. It's so crazy how I didn't see this same upset when this kind of stuff was happening at the Source Awards or the BET Awards. No one was traumatized by that violence. Oh wait, that's because you expected it to happen there, didn't you? 